Adventures with Paul. Hey yo, welcome back to Adventures with Paul. Merry Christmas guys. Hope you're having a great holiday today. I'm going to bring you a quick video with my British mother. Uh, we're going to make a southern style mac and cheese if you call it that. Uh, it's one of my better recipes and everybody always tells me to bring it this time of year. I'll bring the recipe along. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment below. I don't always measure things. That's something that I'm bad about with the exception of like making the roux for a cheese sauce. I don't typically measure how much cheese I use. I just kind of eyeball it. But anyways, guys, let's get in here and let's make this mac and cheese. So let's go. Bake. This thing is hard. It's dark. Alright guys, we haven't cooked in a while. Bringing the Brit to you today. She's going to learn how to make a southern mac and cheese. So let's get in here and get after it. What do you say, girl? Uh, not, not too keen on this. How much am I doing? She's grating smoked Gruyere and a smoked, what is this one? Gouda. We're gonna liberally salt this water, get it to a boil. All right, we're gonna go with about a half cup of heavy whipping cream. So we're making a roux here. We're gonna melt down this half stick quarter cup of butter. And then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of flour right after and make a roux. And then we will add our half cup of heavy whipping cream. While the butter is melting, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. We're gonna add this now because we don't want it to burn, but we also want to cook the garlic out. We don't want big raw chunks of garlic in there. All right, we're adding our quarter cup of flour to the butter, and we are going to mix this for about a minute. We want to get all these flour clumps out of there. All right, we got, we got it how we want it. She's going to add about that half cup of heavy whipping cream, and we're going to bring those ingredients together. Just keep stirring, and then we're going to add the cheese to it. I'm going to add a little bit of this roasted garlic. I've taken it off the heat. You can see it's come to a nice bush of milk consistency. Add that in there. Give it a stir. And then we're going to add some cheese to it. Got our cheese here. I'm going to just start adding a little bit of handfuls at a time. Letting it melt and combine. And we're definitely going to have to add a little bit more of that heavy cream to bring it to a creamy consistency. We want to melt this cheese. That's what we're looking like so far, guys. If you can see, I had to add more heavy whipping cream. Might have to add a little bit more to it as well. Gonna add some more. Wanna thin it out a little bit, guys. Make it more of like a sauce. That's good. I'm gonna add a little handful of this sharp cheddar to the gang. Just a little bit. We're gonna bring more of that in there here soon. We're gonna add a little dollop of sour cream. Not a dollop of Daisy, because I'm using store-bought. We're gonna drain this pasta here. We're using shell bows today. I've never heard of them, but they looked good. So we have sprayed this and we're gonna add the noodles right to it. We're gonna add this cheese sauce. I should have mixed it in a bowl. You are mixing it. No, I'm in the mixing bowl and then added it. So we're gonna add some more of this cheese in here. All of it. That's good to start. So you can see we added one more dollop of sour cream, a little cowlick. This is a pepper forward barbecue rub seasoning. We're not gonna go heavy on it, just a little bit, like so. And we're gonna mix that all in. A little extra virgin olive oil, some panko breadcrumbs. We're just gonna add about a tablespoon. We don't need a ton. Mix it up. And then we're gonna use this as our topper. 
We're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Remember, everything's already cooked. We have turned this to broil. You can see, we just wanna get that top nice and brown. That's what we have here, guys. Mmm, it's gonna be so tasty. All right, guys, we're gonna get in here, give it a little taste test. You can see the bite we got here. You can tell it's hot. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, that crunch on top. Might bring it to a whole level. Oh, she went in for another bite. That's how you know it's good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Those cheeses, those smoked cheeses, mm. banging in there. Woo! Woo! Are you ready? Mmm. Merry Christmas. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, get in there, and you can either make this today, or you could make it for New Year's or any other time. I know, obviously, it's... Uh, not the best recipe that you could make for a new year. We're all trying to to watch our you know reindeer figures and stuff like that. So, um, but if you guys like this video or others on the channel, smash that like button. Drop a comment below. Maybe give me some suggestions or tell me how you and your family prefer your mac and cheese. And subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined to do so. But be sure to ring the bell for notifications so that you are up to date on my latest content. And as always guys, keep it positive, keep it stoked. We'll catch you on the flip side.